I represent the, I'm the CEO of a company called FID. FID is basically, as the word says, facial identification. So imagine a world where we use face for identifying ourselves everywhere. Like for example, now we, when you enter this building, you will have given your IC to change it and then when you come in, you see, tap the card and come in. Rather, when you enter, there is a camera, you just show your face, it recognizes who you are and you just walk in. Okay? This is what we, we are doing. We are specialized in facial recognition and we have been doing facial recognition for the last 15 years. Yes. What now we are doing is, whatever experience that we have gathered in this last 15 years, we are bringing it to, to blockchain. Which means, we are giving the control of identification to end users. Okay, so as an end user until today, I don't get uh, any uh, benefit out of my showing who I am. So when we bring it into blockchain and giving the control to the users, we are incentivizing the users whenever they show their face for any transaction. Now transaction when we say it need not be uh, like what I said to get an access into the building, it can also be in multiple cases. What we are doing is on top of blockchain, we are building an ecosystem. And from this ecosystem, there are many use cases that can come up, which will utilize our ecosystem, which means, now this ecosystem, we ask the people to come and register their faces into this blockchain. Okay. And then we use this database to connect to the merchants. We give APIs to the merchants. So, for example, this building will get connected to this ecosystem. When you come in, it recognizes your face and then sends it to FID. FID will match and say, yes, this is Suresh. So, for doing this verification, I charge the uh, building or whatever. And whatever money that we get, revenue, we pass a percentage of this revenue back to the end user. So, people get something for giving their identification. This is one use case. Another use case, like uh, your banking system, your internet banking or mobile banking, if you are you now mobile banking users, now you have seen all the banks, now they have this face ID. Okay, you click, you show your face, you can log into the bank, you can do fund transfer, show your face, you can do fund transfer. So, everyone is moving towards face. Earlier it was biometric, fingerprints. Now everyone is moving towards face because face is the most secure as well as uh, it is convenient to use. The most secure biometric is obviously iris, but it is very inconvenient to use because you need to go and put your people into the camera. Whereas facial it is just show your face, it is very convenient and it is most secure, second most secure in terms of uh, biometrics. So, well, this use case is uh, banking. In healthcare, you get elderly patients when they get admitted or children when they get admitted, nurses come and give medicines. Okay. Today, in some hospitals, they have this tag, barcode tag. They scan the tag and then they give medicines. Rather now, they come and scan the face and then give medicines. So it's more secure. By scanning the face, they can retrieve all your records. Wherever you go, using your face, assuming you know you get a heart attack, somebody can come and scan your face and they can get all your medical records. I mean, someone else in the northwest medical group can get all your records. So, there are so many use cases that can I can talk about uh, once we build the ecosystem. So what we are doing is using our experience, whatever we have done in the last few years uh, with, with facial recognition, we are moving into blockchain and building an ecosystem. How do we move it? Yeah. Yeah. These are some of the clients that we have in the last few years. I hope. Most of you know all this uh, customers because most of them are Singapore based customers and multinational customers. Yes. And, uh, yes, in order. So, why, why FID? Okay. These are a few things.
And we have, over the past 15 years, we have done enough of research and we have patented most of our technologies. So our uh, patented technologies, our patents are in different countries, in US, UK, uh, even in Singapore, we have many patents that we have filed. And we are not talking about a proof of concept stage. Like, uh, nothing offensive against other ICOs. We are not something where we are in the laboratory stage. We have proven it. We have proven it. And we are only thing is we are moving into blockchain. So, it's not, we are way beyond proof of concept stage. It's a working product. Yeah. And as I said, from business model, what we are doing is, like we said, whatever money we get from merchants for doing verification, we pay a percentage to the end users, which will induce the end users to come and register into the system because they are getting back some percentage of revenue. So people will start using, uh, sorry, they will stop using entering username, password, OTP and all these things. Rather they would prefer to show their face and do the authentication because by entering the username and password you don't get any money. But if you use your face you get something. You get a token with your uh, wallet. <coughs> That's the business model I believe. And market says as I said, I am talking about only few business cases. Okay, but there are a lot of business cases that every uh, industry or every market that I can talk about. And we also use deep learning and AI, which means as you grow older, the system will automatically recognize you what changes that undergoes your face. And similarly, when you start wearing an eye as, uh, glasses or when you start growing mustache, hair, all this the system will automatically understand through our AI. <coughs> yes. Um, this is our token sale. So we are supposed to launch uh, our ICO this month but uh, because of the market conditions we are now private sale is taking some more time we, are, we haven't uh, hit the soft cap our uh, total uh, fundraise is 30 million and our soft cap is 30 million and we are ready to hit because November 15th uh, only we launch this private sale so we are still talking to a lot of investors who are interested in this project so once we hit the soft cap then we will go for a public sale. And if anybody is interested in private sale, we can discuss. And in terms of timeline, yeah, uh, we, as scheduled, we have started our uh, ICO launch private sale in November. As scheduled, we have now started, uh, we have now started migration to blockchain or technology. And uh, going forward by end of uh, First quarter 2019, we will be rolling out in Singapore. First, we are going to roll out in Singapore, then we will focus on Southeast countries, which is Malaysia, Indonesia, and then we will take it to Middle East. This is our roadmap. Yeah, maybe. So, we have a. Yeah. This is our uh, team. Couple of them are there. Uh, so he is our chairman, Kamlo Kastyo, and this is me. And Evgeny is a Russian uh, who is specialized in blockchain. And Lee Munsui is a Malaysian who is the chief operating officer. And our directors, board of advisors, are all industry experts in the particular segment. Like Dr. Mohan Mustafa, he is uh, a doctorate in facial recognition, biometrics. He, he has done his PhD in facial uh, biometrics. And then Professor Batiato, he is also a doctorate in imaging technology. And uh, Rizalto is also a scientific advisor who specializes in cryptography. So, our advisory team consists of industry experts who have been well versed in what we are doing. Yes. 
and uh, some of them are brand strategy and then uh, more devices uh, for uh, legal. And our legal firm is uh, Pilsen Masons, which is uh, one of the world's uh, top uh, legal companies. And these are the patents that uh, I was saying. Uh, some are registered in Singapore and Taiwan and US. And these are below are some of the patents that are still pending. So this is about FIE. Maybe I'll play a short video, a two minute video, which explains what we are doing. Imagine a world in which the only payment verification you need is your own face. No cards to keep around, no passwords to remember, and no ID theft to be afraid of. This future is possible with FID. FID is the first decentralized biometrics as a service platform that provides 100% secure and near instant facial recognition service. For 17 years, we've been developing a state-of-the-art facial recognition system, and now we are officially moving it onto the blockchain. Now, why is it different than any other verification system? First of all, FID is not a mere proof of concept. Our technology has been serving 200 corporate customers for well over a decade already. Today, FID already processes 1 million transactions per day and counting. Secondly, with FID, data is distributed across the blockchain that can't be attacked by old centralized storages. Thirdly, thanks to advanced technology like deep learning and AI, FID platform will not only be extremely fast and precise as a service, but also future-proof as an investment. And finally, thanks to the blockchain, we can fairly incentivize every contributor. Merchants that utilize the system pay a small fee, which is then split between the FID partners and customers. It is a simple yet robust business model, where both the partner and customer will be motivated to contribute to the development of the ecosystem. Using FID means shaping a safe future for us all, where the identities are entirely secure and accessible for verification worldwide. Face the world with FID. Visit FIDtechnologies.com to learn more. So that's about FID. If you have any questions, I will take it. One question, if not, we move to the chat because we are using it. Or any minutes, we can pass it up. How many times is the security aspect of the developer? Say, someone collects a patient ID and then passes the password round. He has a person existing in the person. Okay. And the, the user no, there are two things. One is a partner whom we appoint, a reputed partner will do the capturing of face and storing it in the blockchain. And then we ask the merchants to yes. do verification. If the merchants misuse it. No, we don't give our uh, data set to them. No, you don't have to give because merchant captures and then he passes it around. Right? Yes. So after I, once he captures, okay, I capture it today. And yes. then I send it, I also have a record of it. And then you give me the details of me. And then I store that as well. Tomorrow I don't want to come back to you. No, no, no. I don't send you any details. I only send you match or not. I will not send any uh, patient data set. Only you send me the data set that I wanted and then I will tell you whether it is matched or not. It is something like uh, your uh, bank tokens. Bank is your token. So, Back will say, you just say, say this, what do you mean? You just do a match and say, uh, yes, it is matched or not. I don't know. Yeah, no, we don't give any data. Okay. Because uh, no PDPA and all, we're not supposed to give. No, it's because, because, uh, okay. Okay, because if I am registering with you, obviously I'll say that I'm okay to. Okay. It's a valid question, but the, that's what. We don't give, pass, give any data, we only connect data and then say whether it is matched or not. Oh, excellent. We move to the next speaker, Mr. Jeremy.